engine now with the Forerunner Chronicles. All right, everybody, so recently during a debate on the state Senate floor in which they were discussing a bill that would give concealed weapon permit holders the ability to carry their firearms into public places like schools, for instance, Arizona State Senator Sylvia Allen completely turned the tide of the debate from being about gun legislation into the necessity of discussing legislation that would get this, make it mandatory for everyone to attend church on Sunday. Now, you don't have to believe my words, but listen to the words of Senator Sylvia Allen for yourself. Take a look. If you want to do violence, she'll use a clock in a courtroom, or you can use knives, or you can use whatever. It's the soul that is corrupt. And how we get back to a moral rebirth in this country, I don't know, since we are slowly eroding religion at every opportunity that we have. Uh, probably we should be debating a bill requiring every American to attend a church of their choice on Sunday to see if we can get back to having a moral rebirth. And there it is. You just heard a senator suggest that the United States of America needs to be discussing legislation that would make it mandatory for all Americans to go to church on Sunday. We're talking about a national Sunday law here, ladies and gentlemen. And what I find even more intriguing is the premise that she presented that would make a Sunday law bill even debate worthy within the legislative process. If you notice, she stated that if somebody wants to commit a violent act, they can use a clock off of the wall. They can use a concealed firearm. It really doesn't make a difference what tool a person uses to take the life of another individual. Because if an individual has said it in their hearts that they want to kill someone else, guess what? They're going to kill them by any means necessary. Therefore, according to Senator Allen, the problem doesn't really lie in giving people the permission to carry concealed weapons in public areas, but rather the problem lies in the immorality that is now pervading the American society that would lead persons to kill someone with a concealed weapon or any other type of object for that matter. That's why she says there needs to be a moral rebirth in the United States of America. And to agitate or to bring about this moral rebirth, she believes that mandating Sunday as a day of worship for all Americans will do the trick. Just listen to her express these exact same sentiments when she returned to the Senate later on that day to defend her earlier statements on the Senate floor concerning the passing of Sunday legislation. Uh, I made a remark about uh, America's in a need of a moral rebirth. Ellen then said she couldn't understand why her remarks would be controversial. To try to bring back this moral rebirth to our country, to turn our hearts back to good things, that that is some sort of amazing thing for me to have said, and that would be offensive to people. So according to Senator Allen, to reinstitute morality within society, you have to institute religion. And to effectively institute religion, you have to legislate Sunday sanctity. In a work, work, work world. What difference will one day make? The earth won't alter its course. Cats and dogs will be cats and dogs. Rain will still fall from the sky. So take time for Sunday. Just know that your truck has a little thing for Monday. Now, it's an unquestionable fact that Senator Sylvia Allen doesn't begin to possess the legislative power that is necessary by herself to bring about a national Sunday law tomorrow. However, you have to remember, every avalanche begins with at least one snowflake. And this type of rhetoric that was spewed by Senator Sylvia Allen, 
It provides the right type of momentum to produce a snowball effect that will inevitably bring about a time of trouble such as never was upon planet Earth, which will be initiated by the passage of a National Sunday Law here in the United States of America. They are getting ready to try to mount an attack against immorality, and they're going to push so far and so hard that they're going to seek to set in place legislation that will legally seek to coerce the consciences of the citizens of the United States of America to bend to their religious tenets. And in doing so, persecution will follow. Even Dr. Benjamin Carson is aware of this. I do know in looking at prophecy that the United States will play a big role, that there has to be a return first to a religious awakening. And more than likely, any persecution, particularly of the Sabbath, will come from the right, not from the left. And people will get a little bit overzealous, and then they'll say, see how much better things are now that we've come back to God? And we need to go completely back to Him, and we need to go, you know, and they're going to go overboard. I, I hope by that time I'm not around anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, this September of 2015, when Pope Francis visits the United States of America to attend the World Meeting of Families in Philadelphia, you can be 100% certain that he will use that massive platform to once again promote his propaganda that Sunday rest, Sunday worship is necessary for all mankind to strengthen the family and to strengthen morality within society. The Bible tells us in 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 7, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. And I say unto you, the end of all things is at hand. Please wake up. It's time to be ready. As always, this is the forerunner. And whether you like it or not, the truth is the truth. So today I was seized by the Vatican police, but I still have the footage.